Hello everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to perform linear regression on a set of data using one of MATCAD's built-in functions. For this I have prepared a set of data in the form of a matrix. This data can be manually entered or you can use one of the many file access functions available in MATCAD to read the data from an external file. The data in this array represents X and Y coordinates for a set of points. So the first thing that we need to do is to separate them into two vectors. So I'm going to go here and define the vector for X values and this will be data column 0. And next to it we're going to have the vector for Y values that will be data column 1. So right now we have created our two vectors. The next step is to insert the line function that can be found on the functions tab. Under curve fitting and smoothing, we have the line function. This can be inserted by clicking here on the line function name, or you can type in the function directly from the keyboard. Now that we have inserted the function in the worksheet, we need to provide some arguments to the function. The line function takes in two arguments that in this case will be the two vectors that I have created previously. So let's go ahead and enter the two variable names in here. Evaluating the function will return a vector of two values and these two values represent coefficients of a line function with the form a plus bx that best approximates the data in our two vectors. So the next step is to assign the results of the function to a vector of variables. So we can go here and insert a definition operator and we can go to the matrices and tables tab and insert a 2 by 1 matrix. I'm going to type in here the name of the coefficients or the name of the variables A and B. A will be in this case the intercept and B will be the slope. We also have to define the function where these two coefficients will go into. So I'm going to type in here f of x and I'm going to say that this is a plus b times x. The only thing left to do now is to plot the data and the results. So I'm going to go down here, go to the plot tab, insert plot xy plot. And first of all, let's plot our uh, data points. So we're going to type in here y for the y-axis and x for the x-axis. And we can go and format the plot so we can remove the line and see the data points. And for the y-axis we can add another trace by hitting shift enter from the keyboard. And we can enter the uh, f of x function where we provide instead of x the x values vector. And there we have it. We have successfully plotted our points and the line that best approximates the data in the two vectors. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.